a potential new COVID variant, a combination of the Delta and Omicron variants, you can call it Delta Cron, has been identified. The World Health Organization said Wednesday a new COVID-19 combination has been detected in France, the Netherlands and Denmark. It's also been found in the U.S., according to a new report soon to be published on research site Medics have been viewed by USA Today. The San Mateo, California headquartered lab Elix, which works with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to track COVID-19, sequenced 29. 719 positive COVID samples collected November 22, 2021, to February 13, 2022, from across the U.S., according to the research team, which included the Univers. Compared to variants such as Delta and Omicron this new variation, researchers have not adopted the Delta Cran name officially, appears not likely to spread, said William Lee, the chief science officer of Helix. The fact that there is not that much of it, that even the two cases we saw were diff. So far, in the places where Delta Cron has been detected, there are very low levels of this detection, said Dr. Maria Van Kerkhove, an American infectious disease epidemiologist in the WHO's COVID-19 technical lead, during a press conference Wednesday. For now, WHO has not seen any change in the epidemiology. Van Kirkhove said. And regarding Delta Cron, we haven't seen any change in severity. But there are many studies that are underway. William Honage, an epidemiologist at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, concurs. It's only a variant if it produces a large number of cases, he said. So no. If it's not causing lots of cases, people don't need to be concerned. Viruses such as the SARS-CoV-2 strain that causes COVID-19 can change and mutate. For instance, the mutations that caused the Delta variant resulted in a variant that made people contagious sooner. The Omicron variant itself was more contagious and was found to reinfect some that already had COVID. Unfortunately, we do expect to see recombinants because this is what viruses do, they change over time, Van Kirkhove said. We're seeing a very intense level of circulation. We are seeing this virus infect animals, with the possibility of infecting humans again. So again, the pandemic is far from over. Usually, Mutations happen steadily until one becomes strong enough to become a new thing. In this case, there were different mutations happening, perhaps by the continued existence of Delta during the wave of Omicron. For a few weeks co-infection cases probably happened more often than we know of, because they can be difficult to detect, Lee said. While people may not need to worry about this, researchers can learn from Delta Cron's development.